good eye! <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Vang, VN, Middle Lao, as I have once called it in the past. Oh, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing to start a vlog after consuming oh, the first of the day. <laughs> The fur, the thirst. Now hang on. TH. TH. Thirst of the day. Oh man, this could be interesting. Could be funny. Now, today's vlog, Vang Vieng. Now, if you didn't know already, I have been here before. I got here in 2011. Came with my mate. We stayed one night in Van Tien and then got a bus to Van Vieng. Where oh, I got stuck for six weeks, I did, here. On, on the other side bungalows on the other side of the river and what I'm going to do today is try it's, it's what 11 12 years on try to find some of the places uh, where I used to hang about and where I used to stay just to just because I'd like to now I've already realized um, where I am this place is, is nothing like it was it has grown immensely to say the least and, and the tourist attractions here now are epic. Now in 2013, they actually closed down the Tubin. The Australian government put pressure on Laos and they actually closed the Tubin down due to the amount of people that were getting injured and dying there. But now I don't think Australia has much to do with Laos. It's now backed by China. So I, <laughs> everything is now open. It's just like whatever it is, it's like, it's all full on by the looks of it. And you'll see what I mean. I sat in this restaurant, had my meal, and I've seen that there's a tourist guide and map over there. The tubing looks to be in place. Things, I can see the blue cave or the blue lagoon where there's a big cave. I can see a few things that look totally, there's just one picture there that I recognise. The, the, the rest are just totally different. So, cheers. Oh. And let's get today's vlog on the go. Now first, <laughs> in this little restaurant, you will also see that we have, as a major tourist attraction, the Paramotor. Now here we have the very young Chen Sing Dai. Now Chen Sing Dai, shortly after having this photograph taken, realized that his safety belt wasn't on, and he then fell 2,500 meters to his death. He did, he did, and this also, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't know. I don't know who they are. I don't know. But I won't be doing that, no. Because I have a drone. Now, I'm going to try and relocate places where I've been before and places of uh, interest and a talking point. Now, right here there is a map. <laughs> and this is the old, says former runway. Now it wasn't a runway, fully operational when I was here before. And right about at the top here is where I was to get my dog barbecue. And I believe Walking Street 2 Night Market is here, which is right there. The hospital is there. And I believe this road here is where all the um, bars that sold you, just about everything under the sun is there. So I'm gonna go there now. I'm gonna have a little trek around. I just gotta pay my bill here and then I'm gonna be up and about and I wanna see, uh, I'll see if I can relocate those bars. I wanna see if I can get, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a complete tour of Vang Vien right now. Well, in a minute or two. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> it's the hospital there. This is the lane. I recognized it, I did. But the bars are gone. Ah oh, man. All right, you can get your eyelashes done. Ah. These all used to be open of the daytime. It used to be really cool. They're all bars, all laid back in here. And now it's been replaced by this kayaking. Get a kayak. Don't want a kayak. No opium. What? Opium bar gone. So no here, by opium, by, by, by weed, all gone. <laughs> How long you been here? How many years? <laughs> I don't know, I don't care. I'm like, oh. 
It's where I spent my days. It did. All along here, a few bars with a few mates. We used to sit there getting drunk, and then Kevin, Kevin Powers, a jarhead guy from the Afghan war, he got blown up or something. Anyway, he was there on a war pension. He was quite mad. He was. And he used to cycle up that road to where the runway was and bring us a bag of barbecue dog bones. He did. Ah, oh, man, good old days, eh? Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh. I suppose there's a time and a place. In 2011, in Vangvium, it was a little bit special then. Oh man, I'm now walking the horse, of course, a bit disappointed. I can see the motorbikes I can rent. Ah, uh, uh, what happened to the weed bars? That's where you'd buy it. I'm not, I'm not going to get on it, but um, I would uh, it'd make an interesting part of the vlog, wouldn't it? As I get back on my horse, and I'm now going to go and see if I can get to the other side bungalows, which used to be just £2.50 at night. So this... <laughs> that was a bit of karaoke and a wedding going on in there. A bit of street food going on here. Now there used to be a really good restaurant somewhere there where I used to go and have a steak. But you know what? <laughs> I don't think anything is going to be anything like it was. So this is the street I'm going up. It's all markets. <laughs> it just used to have shops years ago that sang that, that sold vests. That's all you could buy along here was a vest saying Beer Lau or in the tubing. That was it. None of these businesses. And then right up at the top junction here where I'll be soon Oh man, this is where the bus stopped. Where well, you've got the Amari now. When the bus stopped before, that Amari hotel wasn't there. It used to ride, the bus used to go down to the river where I stayed in the bungalows. That's gone a bit up market. <laughs> and then all around here, as you can see now, all right, there are the odd shop still selling. The odd thing, but there used to be just bars and restaurants all around here, and they were all playing <laughs> the same thing on the TV Friends and Cheers. And then all the youngsters they were all just laying about in all these bars day after day. There was one there, Coffee Ice Cream, that used to be the most prominent bar in town, full of people. Just lounging about, watching friends and cheers. How things have changed. But I ain't changed that now because there's a man with some tubes. And the long hair on the left, this is where you'd rent your tubing. You would every morning, there'd be loads of people here, all with their inner tubes, all getting picked up on a tuk tuk and taking 10 kilometers upstream that way on things like this <laughs> and then tubing back down a river which I'm not going to cross now uh, you can go up there but here <laughs> oh wow okay the roads look slippery but it has been concreted <laughs> Mr Angle Grinder man Whoa! <laughs> so how? Oh man, the bridge. Look at the bridge. The bridge ain't changed. Wow, the other side has. Wow! That bridge has not changed. That's the same. <laughs> Crickety wooden bridge that I rode a bicycle across in 2011. <laughs> I'm not going to ride a bicycle across there today. Oh, we'll see. Whoa! <laughs> Not this bike, I tell you, and all these people, look, they're all coming down the river, they've all been taken upstream to do a bit of kayaking. Oh yeah, the bungalows have gone all up market. Oh man, 
Right, so now I won't be riding the bicycle of course, but oh, I will be walking. Oh, hello! 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 There's loads of people in there. Yeah, wicked. Wicked. As I walk along, this crumply, crickety. Oh man, look at all the seats and chairs. Wicked. Wicked. Okay, so it's changed for the better. I will admit, this lovely shallow water, you've got to run that way and a run that way. And there's a gravel bar all the way along this middle river. Oh man, as I can see the old bridge down there. Oh wow, massive, all developed all along here over the years. And I'll keep you pointing that way Why our head. Oh, this way, over this bridge. <laughs> oh, so, oh man, it's now. I know it's the old memory lane is flooding back and everything. I've got great memories of being here, but ah, oh, wouldn't it be good if I could edit in some of the really old footage I took? Because I know it was only 2011, but it's like, it would almost look like the 70s compared to how it is now. Mad. So you can come out, look, and have a eaty drinky in the river. You couldn't do that in 2011. No, you couldn't. Everybody's at it. And all these bar restaurants, all there. And all these little bungalows. Like I say, it used to be just two quid a night. I bet they were a lot more than that. Oh, mate, that bike got half a hatch in hell, man. <laughs> I picked the heaviest, clumpiest bike I could have possibly have picked. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> what is this, a tractor? <laughs> is it? Is it for hire? <laughs> that is a wicked looking beast. Good eye. Hello. I mean, you probably hired one of them. Right. Ah. Now. Bike needs a chain link taken out of its chain. Now this <laughs> has gone super up market. Right, this used to be the other side bungalows where I used to stay and they never looked anything like that, no. Well, I quite like staying here. I got stuck here for six weeks. Wow, it looks like they're building more in a bungalow somewhere around there. I very much doubt they're too, uh, too uh, I very much doubt they're too bad, 50. And the secret police used to come round because when I show you them bars, I used to sit in there over the daytime having a bit of a bifter and a drink. And whatever, other people come to a bit of opium or whatever. And then I'd be an early bird, I'd be off to bed, having a bifter before I went to bed. And then, around about 10 o'clock, secret police used to walk about all around his bungalows, having a snifter, they did, to see <laughs> if they could smell anybody having a smoke so they could come in and make an easy little piece of dollar. Ah, oh, man. Wow. So the times have changed and they're changing me. And can I ride with no hands? <laughs> doubt it. Doubt it very much. But the bungalows now look at, oh man, like that cool would stay there. Even though. You might have to listen to Angle Grinder Man all day over there. And <laughs> we have a road. And that is Bang Bien. That's so cool. And where this has all been developed, like I said, ah. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Riding with no hands. <coughs> See where all the kayaks are now stopping and all the minibuses are. That is where the buses used to stop. There it is. Wicked spot. That hotel is going to be awesome. Rooftop terrace, look. Cool seats at the top. Now, how have they put them in before they put the walls and wall, what, anything else in? Walls and windows come first, right? Get some people in first. But now, let's put that wicked, dirty two birds in a bottle of champagne chair. 
Just like them, right there, look. Swing. Right. Oh, wicked. Wicked boats. In a wicked spot. Oh. The amount of people kayaking or getting picked up by the mini buses at the end of the kayak. Dogs. <laughs> oh man, you can go on a floating raft and have your dinner. I'll tell you what, guys, it's tiring me out. And then all these boats, oh, they are, they're all over the other side. Nah, no, cool. Cool, cool, look, cool. Now, this is relevant. Whoa! As I dive head first over the handlebars, that put the front brakes a bit sharp. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I've already got that bite for a day. Uh, for 50, 50 kip, that's possibly going to kill me. <sighs> right, why is this relevant? Oh, I'll tell you. On my, um, uh, yeah, this channel, Vlogging a Dead Horse, I don't know if you've noticed, there is now a members page. And that has been where I've put, uh, the thing is, I used to have a Patreon account, right? And on that Patreon account, I put all my YouTube vlogs that either got copyrighted, age restricted, or just DD or whatever, something wrong with them. So that's why I opened up the Patreon. Now I looked on Patreon not so long ago, and now Patreon is trying to be YouTube. It's letting, it's letting people see all my content on Patreon for free. You know, what's going on? That's paid for content. That's the content you don't get to see. So I opened the membership page, right? Um, I, I still will be doing stuff on um, Patreon, but nothing like what I used to. Uh, now, Patreon, right, will not allow uh, copyrighted and age restricted stuff. They now say you've got to put that on YouTube. So that's what I've done. Uh, and YouTube have only restricted their restrictions because they're in constant battle with Patreon. They're all looking for the market share. They're all trying to combat YouTube's market share. So what they do, YouTube will counter-attack, obviously, like you would against your competitor. They implement something, then, all right, let's go back and switch the clock back 10 years. So YouTube basically weakened their restrictions. And so much so, it's actually fell back in my favor for the content that I deliver. So I opened a membership page. So you can now, I think it's two pound a month, and then I put on all the stuff there that I cannot put ads on or cannot put anything on. So rather than that all being a waste of time and a waste of money, I put it all on the memberships page on, the, on Vlogging the Dead Horse. And now that is now building quite rapidly, actually. It's really good, so I'm really pleased about that. And then if you're watching this vlog, check the members page because the only vlog I had made was when I actually arrived at this spot in 2011, where these boats are and I filmed it in the sunlight and I filmed it in the rain and I filmed little bits up and down there some cool cool bits of video down that part of the river that you'll recognize uh, and, and that's it so I thought I'd better tell you that because uh, that's the only clip I've got those videos the, the, the hard drive that that stuff come off is, is corrupt so that was it just coming to Van Vieng um, but the, you, that will give you some idea of how this much has changed or how this little part of the river vaguely looks the same vaguely uh, i didn't mean vaguely but i am going down there because like i said i watched that video the other day and it, it, it's thing i want to see how things have changed since then i really do so let's get back on this contraption <laughs> oh, you get that the chain I keep pumping it up again, the chain needs a link taken out of it. That's why it skips, it probably needs a good oil because it's squeaking. It has got a good front tyre, but the brakes need unadjusting because, oh man, they're abrasive on the wheel. Abrasive wheel? Great name for a punk band, that. I reckon. Right, where am I going now? I don't want to go, no, I see, I don't want to go too far. Now there are some brilliant excursions that I'm going to be doing perhaps tomorrow. I want to take in as much as Van Vien tomorrow as I can. All the little places around heading out on that road there. These all used to be dirt tracks when I was here before. Just like, like, like what you can see there. Um, heading out there to the Blue Lagoon. Oh man, what mind renting one of these contraptions? To be honest, on my, left, on my right, I just saw one. I did. <laughs> That thing, 
<laughs> Who wouldn't want a red rent one of them for the day? <laughs> right. Oh, I have not driven a vehicle for, for many years, but I've got a license to drive any vehicle. And I reckon a bit of Mad Max is what is needed. Oh, that'd be wicked. Two seats, four seats. Let's find out how much it is for one for the day. Where'd I rent the bike? Do I put that there? Oh, that's quite stuck at that piece of sh There is a lot. Maybe we'd nick it. It'd be mad if you nicked that. You'd kill yourself if you nicked that. You would. Hello. Swaddy, how are you, darling? How are you? Good? Come on, you must speak English. <laughs> you must speak English. Who rents these? People from Lao or people from all over the world? A little bit. So all these rentals, can they all see? How much for the day? Uh, okay, ha. Yeah, yeah, this, this, this thing here. This, this, for one day. One day. One day. One million two hundred. One million two hundred. Yeah. Wow. It's all like 40 quid for nine hours. So if I have it for three hours, 6.50. Whoa, 20 quid. Two hours. Oh, and you give me free gasoline? Yeah, gasoline full. Two hours for 5.50? Yeah. Okay. Well, and that's two hours, and I can come any time and rent that for 5.50 for two hours. That's it. Okay, thank you. There you go, that's expensive. <laughs> I could have some fun in two hours on one of them. Right. That's the thing with the rental companies. <laughs> like they haven't started up yesterday, have they? It's not people coming from Laos, is it? To rent? No, no, no. Not many people in Laos got money to go on holiday. It's always the Westerners. So, for me, <laughs> you want their money? Talk their language, isn't it? If I had a bar in Thailand, right, and I wanted the Thai's money, I'd go out my way, like my mate Dean, and have at least an hour's lesson a tie every day. There you go. To put things into perspective, and not me just have been the moan on this bumper dumpy road. So I hope guys, you're getting the impression, yeah, this bridge, <laughs> of what Van Fieng is like. As we go along, what used to be uh, the free bridge. <laughs> the bike can't handle a hill. It can't. It keeps crunching through the chain. <sighs> oh. Right. Hang on. The glasses are there. But word of warning, because I know a lot of American guys watch your channel, right? So if you come in the van, you'll like this. So if you come in the van for your you want to cross this bridge, it's a 2.5 tonne limit. Now the Americans probably ain't going to understand that wit, are they? <laughs> Mind you, the British probably aren't either. I'm taking the Mickey out of most people from America being a little bit overweight. As actually, as are actually the Brits. Not just the Brits, everyone is overweight. Oh man, what is that? Oh, there's someone down there fishing. There is, I oh, there is there's someone in there. There's a guy in there fishing, look at his line. This little crowd, I don't see it but me. I was like, sorry, I was like, I was like mate, any movement at the corner of my eye, I want it. Oh yeah. This river's well dried up. Well dried up, look. This little back river, bit of bridge. <laughs> oh man, that is hell together. I was just say put another look. I'll get a bit of wood, go and put that on the bridge. Just 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 add, add a little bit of strength in there. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's only the first bit. second bit is coming up. I do like a contraption. So I'll tell you what guys, if the vlogs are starting to do well, 
if they're hitting over the 10,000 views over the first 24 hours, which I really hope they should do, then if they, that continues, sustainability, then that brings in a little bit of budget. I will show you why I'll rent one of them vehicles and I'll show you why I shouldn't. Oh man, what is this contraption? Whilst I shouldn't actually be allowed behind the driver's wheel. Whether the car, I'll like say if it says full petrol, I hope it includes full insurance. Because I will be given it some. Yes. One used to be a very only way to explain the way I drive, perhaps you guys drive the same, is a very frustrated rally car driver. Now, you used to be able to ride along or walk along this riverbank all the way along there. Ah oh, man, whoa. Don't look like that's feasible or possible today. Yeah. Disappointment. Because that, oh, it's a toll bridge if you're a, a vehicle, I guess. That's what it's I thought it was a toll bridge. Ah, uh -huh. that's why I used to go and chill out and get away from all this. Just walk down the river and have a chill out time. Oh man. Oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What have we here? What have we here? Well, I haven't, have we got time? Have I got my snake shoes on? You know what, guys? <laughs> Happy? Oh yeah, because, ah, <laughs> oh. you know, I have, oh man, an abandonment channel. Come on, you must know that. I said on the other vlog, I've actually abandoned it a little bit, but I reckon I could replenish that rather quickly. <sighs> Whilst I'm in Lao. <laughs> So, <laughs> if you've not watched the I'm Going In channel, well, you guys haven't lived, because that's, that, that's, <laughs> and, whoa, that's what it's full of, yeah, and oh, oh, I will be making a vlog in it, <laughs> I will, so I'll just walk out, Ooh, give me a moment, because that's what, whoa, that's what these vlogs are all about. <sighs> And I'd recommend I'm going in because one of my vlogs on that channel, the Phuket Zoo, where I find a load of alligators, a tiger and a herd of deer, that is now caught up in YouTube's algorithm. And even though it's well over a year, a year and a half old, it's now getting four or 5,000 views a day. It's up to like 50, it's nearly up to 60,000 views. Um, which is brilliant because that is a vlog. It's quite exceptional. And if you haven't seen it, and you want to see me get freaked out then watch that vlog on that channel uh, loads of, it's get, I don't know what's happened I don't know why it's been picked up by the algorithm I really don't but it is what's buzzing me up just lately of, is, is how my channels and vlogs are, all, are now getting picked up by YouTube's new algorithm I'm like oh man so I'm really glad I never chased the algorithm in the first place but I must have done something I must have used keywords in in something I must have done um, I must have done so look at that <laughs> and I I'm not going in so I'll be back with you in a moment I'm not gonna see if I can scare myself silly by going in there alrighty hotel and resort Fasa Fasa Suk now I'm playing a memory game because I thought hang on is this, yes, is it? Is this the place to bus? Yes, it is. This is where the bus used to come. Back in the day. Wow. It is. <laughs> he says, wow, all these have been built. They were never there. 
Riverside Park. Remember, this is where the bus would come. Uh, it all stopped right here. This was the central spot. And then all these, they weren't there. You had rickety old bungalows. Oh man, how it's changed because I stayed in them for the first few nights. And there you go, right down to the river. That beautiful view of the rocks. Yay! That's good, I've found one of the places that's still, it's nothing like it used to be, but it is, and it's probably these little tuk-tuks and buses perhaps still come here as a central point. But wow, how many more of these bungalows have they built? They used to be eight big old standalone bungalows. I mean, he stayed them for the first two or three nights before we moved on because my mate didn't like them because the floorboards had gaps in them. <laughs> Some of them were like almost an inch thick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. So like all sorts of instruments, in, insects used to come in. Um, and like I say, you just had a bed, a big old mozzy uh, net <coughs> over it. Oh, so that's good. I found somewhere that hasn't, well, it has changed a lot. <laughs> oh, mate, every time up a hill, has there any tension? <laughs> One link. But do you think the guy will have a chain extractor? Very doubtful. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd fix the thing for him. Wow. So, fair enough. Going down, what I call, this is probably the oldest part of Van Vieng. It is where you used to come in. Just shown you that. Maybe better get down the river there. Mate takes you to another bridge. But I want to walk. We'll see if I can get down by the river. It's quite a cool spot, the river. I used to come and chill out. And like I say, watch people, the father and his two kids doing a bit of fishing with the net, scaring a fish out. I watched the vlog the other day and I thought, you know what, it's poor quality, it's poor sound, but it's history, isn't it? It's how it used to be. And it's the sort of film that, it's just before, oh, that sort of film that I used to do was just me. I used to like making films. I did. All right, Let's see where this road goes. Because <laughs> there's another bridge further up that will take you to a cave and a little bit of a national park, a little butterfly park further up to the left. These are the sort of places like, oh man, I'll get a proper bit of transport. <laughs> I just took the bike today for 50 kip because I thought oh, that'll do. That'll be easy to come out to these little spots. Don't really need a motorbike, I said to myself. We do convince ourselves of a lot of rubbish, don't we? Because in hindsight, I've had enough of this bike. Yeah, mate, it's rubbish. And that's coming from a man who knows a bit about bikes. Oh, I used to. Oh, oh, it's terrible, mate, it's terrible. So I'm just rolling along on this dirty old track. I don't know where I'm gonna end up. I don't, I'm just hoping it's gonna take me to the river. Oh, mate, what's that bus? I've got a bus up me chuff, but I'll pull over, I'll give him. A bit of space. Right, get, the, get some pace up, it seems. Oh man! <laughs> the chain has let me down as I was I was beating the bus. <laughs> to its, <laughs> I was beating the bus to its destination. Oh mate! Until the access chain link kicked me in the teeth. Yeah it did. Now Whoa! <laughs> Familiarities are still with me. I hope the camera's still with me because I know the SD card's getting full and the battery's running down. But I do believe, 
I'm approaching a little national park right ahead of me. I'm sure that's the gate to it. Yes, I'm sure it is. Be there in a second. Wow. Come on, son. Wow. You probably got to pay to go in. <laughs> I can guarantee you've got to have to pay to go in. Hello. How are you, darling? Oh. Keep the cross. You're closed? Yeah. Oh. For what long? Cannot go, five minutes. Huh? Just five minutes. Go in, come back. Quickly. Can five I? Thousand. What? Five thousand. Five thousand? Yeah. I'll come back tomorrow. Ah, oh, okay. Oh. Uh, tomorrow, five thousand? Eight o'clock. Eight in the morning. Open. Open. Oh, man. Okay. Cup okay. tie. I have a small break. <laughs> oh, closed. Oh, she, she'd let me in for five or ten minutes, but... Thank you, cup tie. Ah, oh, I can get to the river. Yes. This, this way, walk, walk to river. Right, uh, yes, I walked down there before. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> right when I walked down there before, you didn't have that wall or anything, that was just totally overgrown. And there's a walk round down there, there was just massive for butterflies. But, oh man. <laughs> I have had, oh, I had enough of wildlife today. I have. So let's have a steady cruise back. Are we still on? Yeah, we are. We're in the yellow. We're on the yellow on the SD card. We're on the yellow on the battery. Yeah, man. And my balance is gone. I thought I was a really well balanced geezer. Until I rented this bike, it's destroyed me. Oh, man. So, no special K. What else can I say? No NRG, no booster boom, no, um, oh man, nothing to get you going. Ah, oh, budging bike, man. How bad is it? It just, well, it's only a little slope. Oh, mate, as soon as that is out, they don't like it. They really don't. What a bike it is. So no, no special bars to go to, to chill out. No red Pepsi. That was the special on the menu, <laughs> right? That was it. Uh, a guy on Ko Chang, right? Uh, on, was it Ko Chang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kong Chang, where uh, in Klong Prao, on that paradise beach. Whoa, I forget what they call it now. There used to be an Italian guy who had a little restaurant there and he told me he'd done his visa run to Laos he'd been to Vang Vien and he told me that they had really good ash I should try the red Pepsi so when I got to Vang Vien I thought yeah red Pepsi I asked for the menu in the bar I asked for red Pepsi they brought me a yabba pill <laughs> a red yabba pill I was like no nah, no nah, I don't want that mate Please take that back. I don't want that. He's looking at me really dimly. And then my mate actually never used to stick up for me that much or say. So. He's like, no, no, no. He made a mistake. He told by someone to come here buy red Pepsi. But he don't do none of that. All he did, he smoked dope. That's what my mate said. And so he then took the red Pepsi away. Well, come on, mate. Oh. We don't give up. We never give up. We keep giving it till we can't give anymore. So he did. He took the red Pepsi away and then he brought me a chunk of weed. Wow. It is something else. Those mountains are beautiful. And hopefully tomorrow I'll get a better machine and I'll take you there. Oh, hopefully. Whoa.
Well, my first impressions of coming back to Bang Bien. I preferred it in 2011, of course I did, it was awesome. It was really untouched back then, really. Now, it's grown into a massive city. The Chinese are involved, so anything will go. Oh, man. But, in saying that, that has turned into a construction site. <laughs> Lucky enough for me, there's abandonments here. For me, abandonment channel. All right, where I've abandoned that. All right, I'll be boosting that up in the next few weeks. There's loads of tours you can go on, out and about. But as you know, I like to do my own. Oh, just pull out on me, mate. Just pull out on me. You see me struggling? Just pull out. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. It is horrible. On me crunchy. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, I say, it just do not like a hill. And no matter how much control I like to put into the tempo, it just won't have it. It won't have it. Uh. Oh, hang on. Let's have a break. Sound. Success. <laughs> Successful day. Oh, mate, as soon as I come back, I told him about the chain. He changed the bike instantly. Uh, earlier, he, he, that was the only bike he had, but it's a pile over there now, so he's given me a brand new one. Decent. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use it. Ah, oh, man, cheers. But I've got what I wanted at the end of the day. And what is that? It is to sit here in the sun. Now it's, it's coming up to five o'clock, so it's getting a bit late. I won't be doing any laps in the pool now, as the sun is now setting. But what? What? Wow, what? <laughs> now that's weird, because the sun used to set over there. I was here at a very different time of year in 2011 to what I am here now. And them little things are still up there. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, man, wicked. That would be cool to go up in one. You won't get me up in one of them. Not a chance. No way. No. But it's just an awesome place. And when I saw this place online, okay, I thought the swimming, but I thought it was a lot closer to those mountains. And I guess the photographer took that photograph to give that perspective. <laughs> but it's still, oh, man, it's still just an epic view. And that is what I like. At the end of the day, someone's built an epic house. Right there, and all round here is quite epic. It's like, oh man, it's like there's a good future. This building site going there, this flat land there, but it is what it is. Oh man, and just out of the corner of my eye come the balloon. <laughs> there's quite a lot of aero activity going on of an evening, and that does come up usually for the sunset. Oh, it's awesome, it is awesome. Is this Bang Bang is a cool place if you can find a spot. You can hear how noisy it is, right? Peaceful. You can go for a swim and dunk in the pool. I might do in the morning when the sun rises. The sun will be rising over there. Is that how it works? Yeah, that go down and then that go all around the planet, the globe, and then come up there, doesn't it? Flat earthers, you, 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 I don't know how that puts a hole. For the flat earthers, that surely must put some kind of conspiracy into what you think, right? Because if it go down over there, if the earth was flat, then what, what, what does it do? What does it then travel like underground? What, like, 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 like what the, I don't know. It, it causes all kinds of thoughts that I shouldn't really be having. Oh, unless I took some LSD, I guess. So no, so if it goes that, it's because it's got to go round on the globe, isn't it? It really, really destroys the flat earths. Ah, oh, whatever that is. <laughs> oh. It's the life. It's the life, what I love to live. Live the life. That's it. <laughs> I don't want to do nothing more than sit here. Now, there's loads of dust coming up over there. Now I don't know what that is. Might be a bit of 
drilling might be a bit, I don't know, I don't know. It's definitely dust from gravel, so it's definitely work related. Man, wicked. And it's not the sun there, so I'm not roasting out. I could sit here with a, with a shirt on and feel all right, but it's just beautiful, man. So, I'm looking forward to flying me drone. What's that? There's something else now coming in. Oh, there's two more of them in formation over there. That I reckon they're taken off from the runway. So you've got two there, you've got the balloon there, and there's two over there. Man, nah, it's wicked. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if I do an air display. It is. It's like having my own personal air display. Is that it? Enjoying large life. And $34. What's that? It's like 30, 15, it's about 12.50 a night. So I, 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 might, I might book another couple of nights here. Uh, it'd be cool if he had a big telly, because that's what I like to do every night. So I mean, I, I, I put the computer, putt locker, dot PE is still available to watch up to date free movies. It is. Wow. Right guys, I've run on now, I've run out. I'm going to sit here. How many have I? I've only bought four, that's how I'm done. I'm taking it easy. There's more noise coming. I'm like, what's coming next? I'm like waiting here. It's like, it is, it's like having an air show. It is, think about it, with a spectacular backdrop. It's awesome. Just what I might want to move that, I might want to move that uh, umbrella, that's all. I can hear something coming. It's wicked. Oh, man, if only I had a 2 2 rifle. <laughs> that make a really entertaining air show. All right, cheers, guys, cheers. Mm. <sighs> Appreciate you watching right to the end. And if you did like the vlog, right, this is funny. I've got a right, reason why I keep saying it, because the algorithm loves it if you say it. I, I didn't realise, I've never said it, because I, I give you guys a lot more respect, but you don't really need to be told to give it a thumbs up. Like, if you like it, it's the stuff that you'll not naturally do. And whether or not you do it or not doesn't really matter. The fact of the matter is that I've said it and that. And um, it's also another thing, right? Don't just hit that like button. All the subscriptions, smash it, smash it, smash, smash, smash the like button. I believe they're the key words I have to use on YouTube to get to get YouTube to boost my videos to the audience that it really deserves. Because it's only the people that are missing out on my vlogs, isn't it? Lucky for you guys, you get to watch them. You know I exist. But for the millions that are still out there looking for a YouTuber like me, I, I've got to make an effort for them. It's, it'd be rude of me not to, wouldn't it, really? Because it's them that are missing out on, on the great content that I constantly deliver on a regular basis. And I do, I do. I, I watch some of my vlogs and they entertain myself sometimes because most of the time it's anything else. When you're out there doing it, you, you, you're you doing it, isn't it? You know, it's not until you watch back, you think, oh wow, what, what was I doing there? What was I thinking or something? So, smash the like button. <laughs> and feel free to leave your comments and call me up if you really feel the need to. And that. Uh, Ah, right. There's more. It is, it is. Like, I'm wondering what's going on. There's another one, look. There's a raster balloon. It, it is like there's a raster balloon, low level, coming up. When I, when I used to sit on the other side bungalows, right, which I used to do, smoking big bifters, and that, which would have been right over there, right over there, in the right in the Everglade of those mountains. So I used to sit there and I'd watch these balloons coming up. They didn't have the micro light things then. But then I'd be watching them. Some would struggle because they, they need the air lift and that. Um, so there's another one coming in. So it's not bad, is it? It's not a bad place to sit and watch the air spectacular. Uh, that's it. So that's my evening sitting here. I don't know if I'll go out. I might, I might. Now he's changed my bike. I might cycle and get something else to eat. Um, like I say, I've got, oh, mate, the world is my oyster. I've been out. I've done all my work. It was wicked. Really cool. Now I can sit here and chill. So guys, I really do appreciate your staying right until the very end. And until next time, au revoir.